Hello there, I am the MPD Gamer and welcome back to Vermeer on uh, Mass Effect. If you recall from last week, we just managed to stop Rex from shooting me in the face for being willing to slaughter a load of Krogan and stop Saren curing the genophage. And we're about to head off. Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. This is going to be fun. That means you've come up with a plan. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that new Very American. and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified. Yeah. We'll need to play of course. <laughs> Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground. All right then, I get to go in. We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can. Of course, it's now. risky. I'm going to it's a fucking military operation. The There's no such thing as a safe military operation. Team in the back. It's a good idea. What's up than me, look, Commander? And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Yep, it's a very good idea. I need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. <laughs> Uh, it's not your place to decide. Who do I send with the Solarians? Whatever someone says, with all due respect, the problem is, kiss my ass. Who would be better suited to the mission? No matter who I send with them, I've still got to sacrifice one. So it doesn't matter who I send. Sacrifices won't be required. I'll let him have Caden. You're with the captain. Cause keep it simple. He's my sacrificial lamb. He's going to the slaughter regardless. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Eh, uh, screw it. Come on, both ask questions. Excellent. Then, if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine. Oh, don't worry. I didn't do anything foolish. Yeah, I just. I let okay. foolish things happen to me. Is there something you wanted to say, Kate? It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. I haven't taken you off the normally once. We'll see you on the other side. You should be used to it by now. No, I um, I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs. Keep your eyes open you and fight like. Commander. <sighs> you should have said aye, aye, sir. Know the mission and what is now doing better. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. I have to say, for all the Solarians talk really, really quickly, and, uh... Well, they're short-lived anyway. This guy makes a really long-winded speech. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever-alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. And no offense to the Solarians. Their voices are really quite annoying. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence. And our inspirational speech got to be done, that, especially when you're leading troops into battle. Line. But our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, you don't need to go on. Please shut up. Good luck, Thank you. I hope we will meet again. <sighs> It'll be interesting if I do soon. I could take him or leave him. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine. Yeah, I'm obviously going to do whatever I can. To make things easier. Shadow is on the yes. ground. Shadow is on the ground. That provides more experience for me. Suits everything. Time to get some attention. Suits the way I am. Not much of a sniper if he was just standing out like that. Communications. 
this one. Oh, come on, I catch on. Down. Ah. Sorry. Every time I every time I hear the word disrupt communications, I automatically think Phantom Menace and the Moyans. It just sounds so ridiculous. I'm deliberately pointing at you and I hit X for the running. Thank you, Liara. I know it's not the time for chat. Because I'm taking point. They're calling sat strikes. TNO, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? You just can't vocalize past his fucking headaches. She never fails to complain about. Well, he'll be failing to complain about it this time. I don't think I'm going to be say seeing the jackass again. Well, two things to help out. Let's see if I can find f the third. problem I always have with this kind of thing is I see the enemies on the map and even though I want to explore to try and find everything that I can I just keep getting distracted by all the enemies in this kind of, in this kind of mission it's pretty much a free-for-all I feel like I'm shooting fish in the barrel kind of thing but you know there may be fish in the barrel but these fish have guns too rockets too, which are not easy to deal with. You've not really got such good uh, stuff yourself. I think that may have been that sorted. Well, as far as I'm aware that's all the stuff on the approach that I can do. Short of shooting the shit out of more get on the way. Well, let's see what, else, what more trouble we can get into. This ought to be interesting. What I'm saying ought to, I know it's going to be interesting. I don't know for a fact that this is going to be interesting. Fair few Krogan still around. Haven't seen the scent that uh, Rex has. Well, in I go. Wish me luck. If there's anything on this side, which there may not be. <laughs> Thank you, Garrus. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the civilian okay. teams to handle. I'll be nice. Disable the alarms. We can handle it. I can handle all the guards. Take cover. I think it's a bit renegade if you uh, send them to attack the Solarians. It's also a little bit harsh, if I'm honest. A 
deliberately overwhelming your team. Supposed to be comrades! Okay, that was fun. Anybody else that I missed in here? Don't think so. Not by the looks of my map, but I don't know. Mm. Could be little tidbits. Someone lurking around. Hello? Is that doesn't look good down there. Thanks. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? <sighs> Transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. You never get what you want. Then you must be the infiltration. He knew about the breeding grounds. Of course. But the indoctrination is a great <sighs> and far more Second on this warding about the indoctrination. Husks. Isn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. Do you know anything about the experiments? They were studying they were... indoctrination. Symptoms. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty okay. husks. Okay, can let don't this guy out. Can hope to outrun the blast, hmm? uh, yeah. You, hope to outrun the blast. You'll need it. Because you may not get a chance. They are no threat to anyone. Why did Saren do this? There's just no reason. Open the doors. Get are you certain, Commander? It doesn't seem They're not a threat to me. I've already killed about a million of them. Maybe not a million, but I've killed a shitload already. With no problem. They don't even have shields up, so they die very easily. Right? I knew someone would come. Slow down. Try. I need to I know where you are. of the third info. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers. <laughs> that's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, sir? I don't know what for. The effect of incessant. Something is not right here, Shepard. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's this guy's a suspicious. I need to get out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me okay, out. Okay, definitely. Let me, uh, let me out. Definitely under my control. He ain't healthy. Or sane. All right. Well, up left I go. Can't remember what exactly I'll find up here, but I'm pretty sure it's not a pleasant uh, reception. Ooh. Lab. Always good. So, this is an obviously not pleasant looking lab. Well, let's see what's through door number one. Okay, I'm outside. Not necessarily a good place to be in a base where bombardment is gonna happen. It's pretty much constant. Well, here we go. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not. It's already too late, bitch. Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. 
but this job isn't worth dying over. Or worse. No, it's not. No job is worth dying over. Indoctrination only affects prisoners. Sooner or later, he's not dissecting; he's just dominating it. There's a difference. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At you least helped him, and you do not even know why. I didn't have the option <laughs> of negotiating. I'm sorry. For those of you who don't know me, that is my um. I'm mining, slapping you upside the head. Sound. She's a fucking idiot. See, full access, all of Saren's private files. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Hmm. I wonder why that might be. Maybe it's because. It's, called it's a reaper. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mind. I'll ignore the collateral damage. You, blow this place you can go. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh. You enjoyed that, <laughs> Commander. A little bit. Right. Well. Soon up to uh, Saren's personal quarters. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden. This looks rather ominous. And lo and behold, it is. I hope none of you watching this are epileptic. As if you are. I think you just got brain fucked. And I'm sorry if I haven't sounded that sound, I did not mean to. Just, I just got brain fucked, to be perfectly honest. That's what happens to Shepard when he gets one of those wounds. This is not good. No, that's not good at all. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of... Congratulations, you have eyes. Well done. Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. I do not think this is a VR. No, it's not Liara. Thank you once again, Captain Obvious. So far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. Interesting how a uh, sentient Saren. machine, a living sentient machine, Reaper ship Saren found. has as its name a human word for voice to their destruction. Royal. Commander. Supreme Commander kind of thing. This is just... The Proteans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there, it's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Thanks. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. What is it about things like this that have a certain there god complex that make well, things like this that, that cause them to have a god complex in general? They're so incredibly arrogant. Cycle. What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than the Protheans were not the first. They did not create the cycle. Nice. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Twist! Why would you construct the mass relays then Your leave civilization them? is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. Yay! We're all just puppets. Order on the chaos of organic. They are harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are oh, each for God's sake. independent. Freedom. Where did you come from? We have no beginning. 
So basically, these things are, as we like to think of them, God. No beginning, no end, infinite. The architects of our creation and destruction. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you okay, Legion. Demons. Fun. And very, very ominous. You're not even alive. Not really. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. He sounds friendly. Commander, we got trouble. Hit no shit. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard. Let's get out of here. Let's head to the breeding facility. Well, thank you very much for joining me for that. I think I'll leave it there. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, by all means. And uh, I'll see you again next week for, fingers crossed, a giant fucking nuke and blowing this place to hell. Ciao, ciao.